Voice Life Play is specifically designed for singers who may have not used vocal effects before, want to get into the game. It's uh, it's really great. We've got seven vocal effects in there, so everything from our micro mod, flanging, chorusing, that kind of stuff, right through hard tune. So if you want that hard tune pop sound in there, harmonies. Um, the harmony generation can actually be run from an MP3 player, so you can scoot the tracks right into it, press play, and then the MP3 player will pick up, or the, uh, the voice I play will pick up the, the chords and stuff that are going on within the music and make the harmony sound amazing, so it's a really cool little device. It's, uh, it's got a practice feature as part of it, so you can hit the little practice button and it tells you how close you are to singing the notes that you're trying to hit, so it gives you a sense of sort of how well you're doing or maybe how well you're not doing and, uh, and notes you can improve on your overall vocal range. It's got outputs for, for XLR, so you can go out to a PA, that kind of deal, but it also has headphone output so you can listen to it that way. Um, so it's really kind of meant for you know people singing in their room, that kind of idea. Um, cool little feature is on the side here, there's a, a couple of little microphones, little piezoelectric microphones, and they'll actually listen to the music that's going around in the room and figure out what key the music's in and then make the harmonies work that way as well. So uh, if you've got a band or an acoustic guitar, or, you know, an acoustic piano, you can just stick it right near something that's making chord information, sing along and play, and it'll actually put it right in key for you. So that's a really neat new feature for us to be able to listen that way to, to what's going on in the room. It's also got a cool feature called the hit button. So sometimes, you know, if you notice in a, a regular recorded song, they've kind of got their verse sound, you know, and then when the chorus kicks in, something else happens. So what we wanted to give users an opportunity to do was to add another layer of effects when that, when, you know, the next part in their song comes along, whatever they're going to do there. So we added the hit button. You can essentially assign effects to the hit feature. So you'll have a bass sound that you're using and then you'll say, I want these extra effects to come on when I push this button. You hit the button and on they come. So it's a really cool way to sort of add some punch to the song whenever you want to. You can also control that with the MP75 mic as well, which has a little button on it so you can get it to come on and off. It's also a full-blown looper. So, uh, you know, hitting a couple of buttons here, you get into loop mode, you can get your loops going over double layers, take them away, that kind of stuff. And then you can even exit the looper while it's still running. So you could create a beat, something like that come out of the looper, change the sound of the voice, and then head right back in and put you know, a distorted effect or some sort of rhythmic effect on top of it. So it's a, it's a really neat way to, to sort of add layer upon layer upon layer and have a solo performer really have a good experience with being able to manipulate their voice in all sorts of ways.